Josh Harris, the brand new owner of the Washington Commanders. Uh, Adam Schefter with the following tweet. Attending his first combine as the Washington Commander's owner, Josh Harris has sat in and taken part of each of the six interviews that the team has conducted with the top quarterback prospects in this draft. Most owners don't attend the combine. Harris is not only in Indianapolis, but a part of the quarterback interview process. So I'm just wondering whether or not Josh Harris wrote that for Adam Schefter or if that's an original tweet. You know what's interesting? (laughs) My um, combine experience consisted of having a meeting with Dan Snyder who was then the new owner of the team. Little Danny. At his first combine. What team was that? The Washington um, then they were known as the Redskins. Oh my god. That was the team I got drafted by. They're now known as the Commanders but the, the people commandos, that but yeah. the Commandos but the, the people who signed my checks um that was the Redskins. Oh. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, that's just the truth. I mean, I'm not, you know, making anything up or trying to be funny here. I just, and I was just giving an example of of the story that was just told, which I find there to be a very curious comparison, you know, to the fact that you know Harris is there, and they're lauding him for being there. Um, well, I don't know if they're lauding him. All right, I mean, I, maybe. It, Sounds I like mean, it. I, I, that, that's the thing about a, a report like this is I don't know how it's going to be taken. You know, mm-hmm. he's got experience as a managing partner uh, under the Philadelphia 76ers, uh, the, the New Jersey Devils, um, dating back to 2011, 2013, uh, even Crystal Palace, which is a Premier League team. So he, he's been around enough professional sports franchises where he might say like, this is what I believe as a professional sports owner I need to do to be successful. And we don't know the extent to which he's involved. I think for the fan base, it, there's good and bad. Like there's owners who are really involved and you tend to see success from teams, right? There are some that like, this isn't my expertise. I'm smart enough to know that, I'm, you know, there, there's being intelligent enough to know what you know. And then the higher intelligence is also being willing to admit and, and willing to understand there's things you don't know. And you hire smart people to go, you know, do those things and figure those things out for you. And so maybe he's the type that feels like from his past experience with other professional sports franchises, he can impart his wisdom and that's going to be able to, you know, help guide them to being successful, being competitive for, for Super Bowls. But it, it feels like the more interaction, especially with these new ownership groups, usually the worse it goes. Usually the worst off it is. It's Just look at the track record. Look at, yeah. Like David Tepper, Jimmy Haslam until recently. Like go look at the years when Jimmy Haslam first took over and the firing and firing and firing and the cycles they went through initially. You could say they initially figured out, I don't know, I guess we'll see this year how things look, but it usually has not worked out well. I think when guys become too much of a fan of of their team, it's it's radioactive. It becomes radioactive. Is that, that what that, happened with little Danny? I would just base that off of my experience. I, I would think that that's what happened to him. Sit courtside with him. I mean, I bullets did I ever sit courtside with him? They were yeah, they were the did. Wizards by the time I got there, but were they? Yeah, I think they were the Bullets back then, weren't they? God dang, Q, I was there. And I'll tell, you, I'll tell I'm you, I'm not trying to pull Sam. I'm tell not you. trying to pull Sam right now. I, mean, I, I do was, not want to be that I guy. was there, I don't though. care if you were there. I know what happened more than you do. <laughs> they were the bullets, LeVar. <laughs> Ross Tucker. I do remember the fight better than you do. Huh? Okay. That's right. Yeah. So they ended the bullets back in 1997. Yeah. I didn't Man, get there but, until 2000. I know why they yeah. changed the name. It's almost like MySpace. The, bu- the bullets. Well, they us. changed it from bullets because of the violence that I, was going on. I, I get it, but uh, right, because that was why there was violence. Yeah. Right? yeah, I mean, you immediately there's a correlation between hey, it's the Washington Bullets, so yeah. clearly, you know. Well, because if yeah. you see somebody with a bullet shirt on, a jersey yeah. on, then they're Just, clearly letting you know that there's some bullets coming your way. Yeah. After That's after right. you totally. see my shirt. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so they had to change that and turn it into the Wizards, which, you know, for some people, that was kind of a weird deal, too. You know what I mean? Because there's violence connected to that, too. Yeah. (laughs) 
Just saying. More, more during medieval time. <laughs> yeah. you know? well, but, I don't know. It wasn't in me. It wasn't medieval. Abracadabra. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, y'all talking about a different wizard. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying. You got you hate know. in your heart? <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> y'all will y'all, oh, y'all, geez, y'all, y'all won't direction. see my face. Oh, yeah. man. Y'all won't see my face. That's so of all funny. the names, you know, it feels like Washington hasn't had a good run saying, on names. They don't have great runs on names. I mean, <laughs> like, I'm just saying, it was like, a miss if you ask me. Yeah, you know, the, the but, remakes never work well. I mean, imagine if you called them the Washington Grands, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. Hey, I was just going to say, it doesn't, hey. sound as, it doesn't sound as cool to go to a Wizards game. <laughs> no. Like, oh, no, we're going to a Wizards game. Not at all. Uh, you know? You're like, we're going to the Bullets game. Like, that's kind of strong. Well, what are you yeah. implying that they are by calling them the Wizards? You right, know? that's yeah, true. I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm going to go back to, to the point of the st- my a little, story. A little north for that. Uh, the, point, the point of my story. Uh, well, uh, well, I don't know. I, mean, that, yeah. I, think, I think the higher north you go, the better off you are, right? Got uh, too much hate in your heart, Bar. <laughs> I think the lower you go down, the southern, more southern you go, it could get a little dicey. But, yeah. um, but anyway, I, I just you know, for me, looking at how uh, Dan handled things, it seemingly little Danny, little Danny, it, it seemingly looked like it was amazing from from a young, you know, twenty two year old, you know, prospect. It was like, dang, like this has got to be the dopest dude ever. You know, and, and it felt that way. And I'm sure Harris wants to feel as though his his players, you know, feel that he's in, in it that way. Like he wants to, to see this organization do well. He wants to see the players do well. And he's probably dealing with the the idea of being an owner for this team is 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 now connected and represented to – two two guys in particular and some people fall on you know a couple different angles with with cook you know a lot of people liked cook but there were a lot of people that didn't like him and and there were a lot of reasons why that were stated as to why they didn't like cook and then comes dan snyder who's like a fanboy who was able to buy the his childhood team and seemingly put all this energy into it. I just think Harris is going to want to come in and try to restore, or 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 maybe not even restore, maybe create a narrative, a new narrative as to what it means to be an owner in Washington D.C. because of the trauma that fans had and players and employees of the organization have had to endure during the the time of Dan Snyder. Hmm. I mean, do you think like Schefter charges for other people to use his Twitter account, or do you think it's just like, uh, nah, hey, he's not the only one. It. Don't don't put him on blast like that without oh, you know putting some of the rest. No, I'm, I'm just asking. Him. Him. <laughs> we should ask Breer if he comes on. But like, do you just like how does it work? Right. Like, did they just text you something hey, and then you just copy paste? Hey, I mean, Ryan, I know that's, does, happen, that's happened to some guys before. Hey, does Ryan Day have your password? Like, what, like, like let's uh, you know, let's find out uh, from Breer how that works. Uh, but I just, I, I I'm gonna go by a simple rule this off season. If your team had a head coaching vacancy and you didn't interview Bill Belichick, you're going to stink this year. Jeez. That's gonna be the rule I'm going with. Because this isn't the first time that we've seen maybe something a little bit strange happen in Washington. There was all the stuff about, you know, uh, Ben Johnson and sort of there's too many basketball people trying to run the show there. Now they've got the owner who's going to show up and he's going to talk to all these quarterback prospects. Like, I just, I'm not optimistic things are going to go uh, all, you know, much smoother there because thus far, it hasn't really gone that way. I mean, Ron Rivera was voted one of the worst coaches in the league, according to this NFL PA poll. It just seems like people are so happy that Dan Snyder's gone because he had so much dirt on everybody that now they're going to go over the top celebrating uh, Josh Harris and company there. And I'm just uh, – give he, me a little uh, bit of time. He may figure it out. You know, he may, he may do it. Just because he's doing some of the same things that Dan Snyder did when he was there doesn't mean he may – repeat the same mistakes you know as as q mentioned he does have uh you know a a portfolio of 
sports teams that franchises that he already owns. So he's not new to you know being the owner of of a you know, professional franchise. So he may handle things in a way. And and listen, give him some credit. He brought on guys like Magic Johnson. That's Magic, right. His his success ratio has Johnson. been. <laughs> you win games, don't you? Like Magic Johnson is is connected to winning championships. You know he's done it with the Sparks. He's done it with what the Do- uh, not the with the Dodgers. Was it the Dodgers? Doesn't he have ownership with the Dodgers now? Yeah. Didn't they win the the the, the, the World Series not too long ago? Yep. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean he wins. Well, I mean it feels like it's a lot longer ago than it. It has been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. Spend, it was you COVID. Know. You know. Yeah. It's been a while. But Magic Johnson wins is my point, and 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 so th- this could be a great moment in time that evolves for Washington. 